their lives to make it on the score to Biggie Stadium's run. Raised right here in London, Katerina Johnson Thompson, who exploded onto the scene right here in London four years ago. Dina Asher Smith, the fastest British woman in history. In history. Or Laura Movies. Life isn't about finding your limits, it's about realising you have none. So get up, get out, try something utterly ridiculous. Get a 5am boot camp in London Fields. School the twinkles. So London, raise your hands and show your support. No, it's an exciting year. Um, I'm really looking forward to Rio in two and a half weeks. It's going to be good. Um, did my last bit of test on Saturday, which is nice to win the race. And now I'm just looking forward to Rio. And what was it like to be really cheering you on? I love that track. I love my fans and people in London did come out and gave me great, great support. And uh, today we're back here in London and it just brings me back memories again. And obviously it's, that it's race very tough. Was you have to get on I'm really pleased you, uh, to run what I have run a decent time and go on uh, sub yeah, 13 minutes was nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like um, there's not much more I can do in training. Just a couple of key sessions and that'll be it. Um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm yeah, nice, exciting. It's very exciting. I'm looking forward yeah, to it, and it'd be I nice to be able to defend my title. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it's going to be hard. Time, yeah, most guys have four years of preparation, so that makes it harder. Time. So, uh, and do you no, get I'm quite excited for the season. Um, I do get nervous, uh, but not too nervous for a race. But I do get a bit nervous. I'm glad and how do you cope with the pressure? Just try and chill out, try and switch off, and just you know, just I love what I do and the career and doing what I do. And if you talk about how did it feel to be back in London? Yeah, it's always a great event. I absolutely love doing London anniversary games and it was um, one of the things that just sort of takes you back to 2012. So I just love a home crowd and thankfully my performance showed that they, they really helped. And obviously the performance has come at now. Yeah, definitely. I think I was getting worried a couple of months ago that things weren't really going my way. But it was just that positive reinforcement that, you know, my training is actually going well and I'm not imagining it. And, you know, I can put together, you know, a series of good jumps and I'm nearly back to my best in the high jump. So, yeah, it's definitely positive reinforcement. And what's the plan games have been this time around? Yeah, I think so. I think um, during the last couple of months, I think you know I've, I've sort of found myself, and I think I'm yeah, I think I'm ready for it. I think I'm ready for it. As time gets closer, I feel like I'm a lot more calm about it. What will be, will be, and all I can do is my best. So yeah, I feel ready. And is it a mixture of nerves? It's everything. So I'm not excited, but I'm not nervous. It's just like so yeah, it's a mixture. It's like, but you need that like sort of adrenaline when you're on the start line. You need to have like a little bit of nerves and stuff. Otherwise, you know, I think every time I step onto the track, especially in big stadium events, it's, it's that nerves. I think that's what gives you the big performances. Yeah, definitely. I think in 2012, well, definitely in 2012, it was my first one because I was lucky to be there, so I had no pressure on me whatsoever. So, yeah, it's definitely a little bit different this time, but yeah, I think I'm ready for it. All you can do is take each event as it comes, so that's all I want to do. Just take each event as it comes, and I can do my best and have no regrets. I'm really excited to go to Brazil, like something that I'm uh, very proud of to go to my third Olympics and represent my country. Hopefully I can represent my country to the best of my ability and come home with two solid performances, one in the relay and one in, in the individual. And how are you feeling personally, Teddy? I'm feeling really good, like um, I've just come off the back of winning the European Championships, so I'm quite confident where I'm at. I'm disappointed with how yesterday panned out, um, but it's something that hopefully I'll never do again. Full start is quite embarrassing as a 29 year old man. but. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm re really excited about it. Really. Oh, it was gone within 20 minutes. I had a session to do instead, and uh, my coach punished me. <laughs> so it was a very tough session, and um, yeah, once it, once I got through that, I was over the, the whole experience and uh, looking forward to today. Really. So what now? Definitely. Like uh, in Beijing, I was new to the whole thing. I was very ex very excited about the whole experience. Uh, London, I was very nervous, didn't handle the pressure that well, so now I'm like, I'm prepared for everything. I think uh, my body's in good shape and I'm coming into peak, peak form at the right time. And do you have any particular 
So for me, um, an individual to make the final um, would be incredible. I'm probably in the toughest track event at the moment in track, world track and field men's 400. So to make the final, I'd probably have to run close to a PB, if not British European record. And then um, in the relay, we've got a really, really, really strong team. So I'm proud of the guys that we've got there, and I think we've got a good chance of coming back with some silver. Um, yeah, I think everyone expected us just to win. Um, I went into my semi-final and one person started shouting Rooney and ten people started shouting Rooney and then they just built around the same and I just couldn't handle it. So now I know how, how to handle those experiences and if I could get a Brazilian crowd shouting Rooney that would be incredible. Yeah, I mean it's been an amazing weekend, it was such a great atmosphere inside the stadium and it was so, so good to be back and uh, competing in front of a British crowd was really the best send off that we could ask for and obviously today has been amazing as well. Yeah, training's gone well. It was another consistent performance under two minutes. Um, obviously in a competitive race. Um, ran a bit faster in Monaco a couple of weeks ago, but it was a completely different type of race. So, yeah, it's just about trying different things and different races. And, yeah, it was a good one to, to finish off on and get a few weeks training in ahead of Rio. So what's the plan now? Yeah, we go to a training camp um, in about a week's time and then I've got a couple of weeks at the training camp um, over in Belo Horizonte in uh, Brazil and then we transfer into the village um, and then start competing at 800 on towards the end, so got a while still to wait. And how are you feeling in yourself? Is it um, a mixture of both. Uh, I mean, the only Olympics I know really personally is London, so I think it's, it's going to be really exciting to see how different Rio is and obviously the Brazilian culture coming into it is going to be so different to London. And do you feel kind of yeah, I definitely feel like I'm a much more mature athlete, a lot more um, experienced on the circuit and feel like um, I can really mix it with the top girls in the world. I've come a long way in four years, so I'm really excited to get out there. Why is that like a silly question for Rio? Um, to do as best as I can, like to do my best performance and there's nothing I can do to control other people, so just do my best on the day and give it my all. Yeah, I, I, physically and mentally I feel I feel in the best possible shape and yeah, I can't wait to get out there and compete. All the hard work's done and competing is the fun bit. That's the bit I love to I love to do and to get out there in front of an Olympic Olympic crowd is it's gonna be it's gonna be brilliant. The Olympics is the pinnacle of what we what we do in our sport and it's uh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, definitely. I think four years ago uh, I was eighteen, I was sort of very new to the sport, I was sort of thrown into the the Lions Den, I think if, I, I really had no idea what I was doing. Uh, now I'm, I very, I very much know what I'm doing, and I uh, know where I need to go and what I need to do to hopefully be pushing the world's best to uh, get myself in the final and, and try and medal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm going into Rio with my fastest sort of times before I go into a championship, so I'm hoping to sort of push on from that. I wasn't really too happy with my race on on the on the Friday night at the anniversary games, but the anniversary games itself was, was an amazing event and yeah I said all the hard work's done we're doing a fine tune and, and just tinker tinker with the body a little bit and, and try and push for quicker times and by the time Rio comes around I want to be running my fastest times. Hit a, hit a couple of uh, bigger sessions in the next couple of weeks and uh, yeah like I said just just tinker and really just fine tune and, and get the speed perfect so you're peaking at the at the uh, champs and hopefully you're running faster time in the in the final for me that's the 200 meters. For me, it's relaxed. I, 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 I enjoy training. It's very relaxed. I, know, I sort of know what I need to do. I'm not searching for anything. I'm, I've not got to find a lot of time. I've got to just really just fine tune. I, I believe the times will come. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a wicked place. The holding camp. I think all the other teams are there. All the, all the team GB, GB is going to be based in, in this one place. So I can't wait to that. It's, we don't really get to mingle with the other sports that often. And uh, yeah, when the Olympics comes around, it's a great opportunity to do that. So I can't wait. At the time, I didn't feel overwhelmed, but I feel like that was from naivety, not knowing the sort of scale of what I was what I was doing. Now I look back at it and think, how did I manage that and, and get through it? But yeah, no, I'm, I work very hard on my mental side of things, and it, it, I, I won't really hopefully get phased by it or anything. And, and just uh, it'll be another race for me. I'm, I'm, I'm going there to medal. I have to be. I'm not. This is what I'm doing. This is my job now, and I'm, I'm aiming to be the best. And if I, if I aim for any less than that, then I can only go hope to achieve less than that. So no, I'm aiming to come out there, come home with, with some medals and, and really have, have put myself in the mix with the best guys in the world.